Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott of Scott Sports One Hundred One. Uh, 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 Sunday Night Football uh, uh, post game show. The, uh, the LA Royals beat the Seattle Seahawks twenty eight to twelve last night on Sunday Night Football at LA Memorial Coliseum in LA, California. Uh, the Rams had this game in hand from the get go, and uh, this game was not the game that the Seahawks had hoped for. Because LA just looked good right from the start, and they never let up in this game. Uh, uh, for tonight, uh, and yeah, that's what I meant. Hope for tonight. That's what I had said. And uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, there just the Rams just look good in this. Jared Goff had an amazing night, and uh, all I saw uh, last night in last night's game was a sloppy performance by the Seattle Seahawks. Their pass rush and run game what was pitiful and. The Seahawks' uh, offense did not protect quarterback Russell Wilson very well at all, and their offensive line showed no protection whatsoever. The defense looked fair. They looked decent, but the offense just did not. And and uh, some of the offensive players really struggled tonight, and you just you got to realize this was just not the kind of game that the uh, uh, Seahawks uh, had hope for, but as I said, Jared Goff had an amazing night, and so did a Tyler Higby. Boy, I want a night for him, especially in yards. And uh, even uh, Todd Gurley had, a, had an awesome night, and Robert Woods as well had an awesome night. And uh, Go- Cooper uh, Cup, had a, he had a decent night, and also uh, Malcolm Brown had a decent night as well. But for the Seahawks, uh, they fall to eight and five, head to eight and five, and the uh, Rams go to ten and three. And I just, but Seattle is still in the playoffs, and uh, Seattle's are, and and the LA Rams are still in the hunt for the playoffs. And uh, but um, uh, the Rams, were, Seattle was found themselves down twenty one to three at the half, and they did not score again until the fourth quarter. And they scored a touchdown and got a two-point conversion out of it. But that was as close as they got. Uh, L.A. just ran away with this game tonight. And they they just, the Rams just had it and had Seattle's number tonight. And Seattle just, uh, it was just not a good night for the Seattle Seahawks by far. And I just feel that uh, Seattle needs to regroup. They need to look at their mistakes to, for their next opponent. They say their next opponent, and they need to really come out fired up and really bounce back from this loss tonight on Sunday uh, night football. So basically, the Seattle Seahawks just need to really uh, get back to the basics and really st- need to win a few more football games this season. They need to win the last uh, few football games this season by far. Uh, time now for some game balls. Uh, uh, Jared Goff, 22 of 31 carries and attempts, 293 uh, yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Tyler Higby, seven uh, receptions, 116 yards. Big night for Tyler. For Tyler Higby. Todd Gurley, uh, 23 yards, uh, rushing for uh, uh, rece- receptions, receiving yards, excuse me, it's rece- four receptions, receiving uh, 29, uh, actually 23 carries, four, four receptions, uh, 70, uh, 79 yards rushing, 45 yards receiving, one touchdown, my mistake, and I do apologize for that. Robert Woods, uh, uh, two carries, seven uh, receptions, 29 yards rushing, 98 yards receiving, one touchdown, and Todd Gurley had one of those touchdowns too, I forgot to put that in. Cooper Cup, four uh, receptions, 45 yards, one touchdown. And Malcolm Brown, five carries, 21 yards, and one touchdown. So those are the six game balls. There were six of them tonight. we got a good matchup for tomorrow night on Monday Night Football. The Philadelphia Eagles and the uh, New York Giants will square off at Lincoln Financial Field. And kickoff for that will be at 8.15 on ESPN Monday Night Football. And my, my brother-in-law and I have taken Philadelphia, so we'll see what happens. Because right now I am 10 and and uh, 10 and 5.
five, and my uh, my blood of my Arroyo is nine and six right now. Yeah. But uh, it was the Rams' night. They had this game in hand, and uh, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Sunday Night Football pregame, postgame show, excuse me. I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football pregame show and postgame show tomorrow. Uh, but until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day, any way possible. So long, everybody. 3, 2, 1, I'm done.